So let's open this new Find Reader PDF and walk through the most visible changes. As you can see for yourself, the icons look fresher, a more striking red color compared to the previous one, which was a lot more subtle in Find Reader 15. In fact, the whole interface has been redesigned with a fresh new look and modern graphics, as you can see here. The three main components and their functionality, which our users are familiar with and uh, are used to working with, however, remain the same. These are PDF editor, OCR editor, and compare documents. Let's look at the PDF editor features first. Just as a reminder, the PDF editor is used for reviewing, collaborating, protecting, and modifying any kind of PDF documents. The PDF features, uh, as you can see here, have been divided into several subgroups based on their functionality. Let's refer to them as tabs. The goal was to provide a quicker overview and thus easier navigation than in Find Reader 15. As the first tab, uh, starting from the left, we have Document tab, which opens as a default. Here, the users can find everything to do with viewing and collaborating on documents. Then we have Organized Pages. This is a brand new feature. I will come back to it, to it shortly. Edit Content. Here in this subgroup, the, the biggest improvement is that you can start editing the text directly in the PDF two times faster than before and find it a 15, as the process of preparing for editing text in PDF has been drastically sped up. Uh, header and footer features also under this newly grouped category and some other features, everything else, however, remains the same. The same goes for security. Here, all the features that have to do with protecting, redacting and signing can be found. The functionalities of them, of all of them remain the same, just that have been reorganized for a more intuitive user experience. Form editor, here the location of these features has been moved. Before in the previous version it was in the top right corner and now it's a lot more prominent. The main menu has been uh, also reorganized into a hamburger style menu uh, which you're probably uh, familiar with from mobile apps. The main goal here was to keep viewing area cleaner and less clustered, leaving more space on the screen. The navigation pane can also be found here at the bottom, uh, now at the bottom of the interface. So now let's take a look at the brand new Organized Pages feature. This new feature allows to view all the pages in a document in a convenient preview-like mode, similar to working with slides in PowerPoint. This allows to easily rearrange, delete, or add pages either all at once or individually. With this um, more intuitive overview of all the pages, especially when zoomed out using the scaling option, makes it much easier to identify when something looks out of place. For example, to correct page orientation, to change, to change the order of the pages or to add a missing page. Other options that can be found under this category include split pages and cropping feature, amongst others. To highlight another improvement, uh, this is the cropping feature. Now in Find Reader 16, you can see a preview of how the selected crop frame is applied on each document to avoid cutting out some important information for example, and can apply the chosen actions to all or just few selected documents. The OCR editor, which is used for the most accurate conversion of complex documents, also received some updates. The two main ones we would like to highlight are firstly the look and feel. Part of the overall interface refresh, icons and colors have been revamped as mentioned previously also in OCR editor component. In addition, also the recognition area colors have been changed slightly to match those used in other document apps such as Word and Excel to make it more intuitive for users and their way of working that they're used to from uh, when using these apps. These default areas are for detecting the document layout. Just as a reminder, 
Finally, the PDF identifies which part of the page contains text, which are pictures or tables, and if there are background, air, uh, background pictures on the page. And these default areas can then be reviewed and adjusted manually. Secondly, let's look at the technological improvements and image pre-processing tools. Previously, in Finder 15, for any type of document, the same set of image pre-processing options was applied. Now, in Finder 16, uh, Finder can automatically detect the document type being used and select the most appropriate image pre-processing options, making it more intuitive, helping to improve the quality, resolution, orientation, contrast, and so on and so forth for even more accurate OCR result than before. Alternatively, it's possible to turn off the automatic selection of uh, pre-processing parameters so that the user can select the desired par parameters manually. Thank you.